On cool winter evenings over the moors of England, thousands of starlings come together to create something extraordinary. Throughout the day they're spread over a 20 mile radius foraging for food and doing their starling thing. But at night before they settle down to rest, the starlings put on one of the most spectacular shows in the natural world. It's called a murmuration in reference to the beating of thousands of pairs of wings as the birds swirl together. And this dazzling display is not just for show. The murmuration protects the birds from predators. You can see a hawk in these videos that's singularly ineffective at preying on the birds who swarm together to chase it away. The murmuration also warms the birds for the night and there's also an information exchange about good feeding areas. In fact, the birds behave according to a number of the operating principles analogous to those of the collaboration age. Kind of a murmuration macroeconomics, if you like. There's an interdependence and a kind of collaboration. Despite their high-speed aerial acrobatics, the birds never seem to collide. And the murmuration is really the epitome of self-organization. Every bird participates, and yet there's an implicit structure as the stronger birds are more influential in directing the mass. Leadership within the group seems to change constantly and dynamically as, as individual birds somehow manage to take up the mantle. Now this is not a collective intelligence or collective consciousness, of course, because individual birds are not intelligent or conscious. But there does seem to be some kind of emergent shared brain of sort, a loosely conjoined network of relationships and impulses. Now starlings are not intelligent, but humans are. Anthony Williams and I wondered, is it possible that as everyone connects through the global digital platform, could we begin to share not only information, but also the capacity to remember, to process information, and, and to even think? Is this just a fanciful analogy, or will we come to consider networking as the neural roots that connect human beings in a way that creates something fundamentally new? Arguably, it's now possible with modern technology for organizations and even societies to share a perspective and even some kind of consciousness, a state of, of being aware, of informed, of, of, of concerned or intentional. Could some kind of new consciousness and interconnectivity, the capacity to learn dynamically as organizations, be a key to rebuilding our failing institutions and using the web as a global platform for collaboration. If networking can speed up the metabolism of our collaboration and a new kind of shared thinking and learning, could this be applied within and between organizations to innovate better, to create prosperity, and to advance society? Perhaps the murmuration shows us a missing link in creating learning organizations, that organizations like people that aren't conscious cannot learn. Wow, this is a time of great peril and danger, but it's a time of opportunity. And the murmuration gives me hope that through collaboration, perhaps this smaller world that our children inherit could be a better one.